Hello, I am Lyo Convoy. Welcome to my new drama video format, wherein I will occasionally talk about dangerous or immoral people that aren't necessarily predators. Those will still be done in small, quick to digest videos. I genuinely hope you enjoy these, despite the content. Why the lion head though? Am I trying to rip off Mumkey Jones? No, I'm merely taking a page out of his book, and unlike him, I'll never date a pedophile. The discussion today is about the people behind a Twitter account that goes by the name of Zoophile Police, a Twitter account that, at its core, is supposed to expose and report sexual predators of children and animals on Twitter to get their accounts taken down. This account is ran by Quintoki, Wendigo, and Bellona. They also used to be helped by my friend Patch, and that's why these clowns are now in this video. You see, on Thursday, they made a post on the account claiming that they removed Patch for child abuse and blackmailing. Hefty claims! Surely, they'd have evidence, right? Well, we decided to hop in their server and find out what's going on. Links for that call are in the description below. Fun tidbits include people that are dumb enough to think that calling a kid's parents constitutes blackmail, and morons that don't know when to stop droning on. Long and short of it is, the biggest mouth of the server, Bologna, said she had evidence. Only to later say they were looking into the evidence. Only to follow that up by stating flatly that she doesn't actually believe Patch to be an abuser. In this call, I told Bologna that her questioning abilities were that of a child's, and that they suck. Only for Bologna to beg post about it on their Twitter later. Honey, this is what you said. This is what you magically tried to claim I was telling you. It's not my fault you're too stupid to follow simple logic. Giving an incorrect answer to get a correct one only works in certain matters. And it certainly doesn't help when you make a public accusation first and foremost without vetting the information at all. Let me see if I can explain this to you as simply as possible. When you're outing predators as a watchdog group, there are two extremely important things to have, and one plays into the other. The first one is accurate information. The second is credibility. It's a dirty job, and information must be on point if you're going to do right by it. And you have to have high credibility in order for people to believe you. You lot have failed on both ends of this. Let's start with Bologna, as she is the biggest moron. Let's talk about her credibility. Remember that call I mentioned? Well, after that call, I went to bed. I awoke the next morning only to find that Bologna decided to randomly accuse me of threatening to dox them. Which is funny, because I didn't make that threat. They also went on about dummy files? What? See, when I do find addresses of predators, I use the white pages. I'm an old man that can't even edit a video well. The sheer thought that I'd be able to hack someone is absolutely silly. Bologna would know this if she bothered to do any research. You would think a person that names themselves after the Roman goddess of war would know the first rule of war is know your enemy. Then again, you'd also think she'd have better tactics too, but here we are. Funny thing about the Dummy Files comment though is she's dumb enough to link her Steam profile onto her Discord profile that gives her planned real name as well as city and state. Freaking oops! This is also further pushed in her server. Honey, if you want a war, you've got it. And believe me, you're not prepared. We'll further get into this nonsense a bit later, but for now, let's move further on to Bologna's lack of credibility. In a private message to Coyote Lovely, she admitted that she knows a person is about to die and that she works for Raytheon and has a legal requirement to report it. But won't, because that's clearly something you tell a stranger on the internet. She also went on to tell him about how she planned a massive suicide thing concerning her friends, and it failed. Because someone who won't do their job, plots suicide, and is too stupid to vet accusations just screams reliable, right? Right? Of course, once pressure was put on Bologna, what did she do? She ran to Patch and started throwing her other admins under the bus, because Bologna doesn't want to own up to any of this. All of this, by the way, and there was still no retraction, and at this point, it was nearly 12 hours later. This is where Bologna claims someone gave them info that Patch drew bestiality porn, 
And that's why Patch got removed. Despite the fact that the initial thread linked to a completely different tweet altogether, but Bologna is dumb and can't be trusted. Did Patch drop bestiality porn? Yes. Because Patch is poor and needed the money. Does that justify it? Absolutely not. But that's also why all the money Patch made on that was given to other artists in need. But Bologna never even asked for context, and never even initiated a call with Patch about it. Just threw up accusations and ran with it. The kicker? Patch already told everyone else on the team about it previously. Bologna is a newer recruit than Patch. Of course, that's not the real reason, as that was admitted to only be an excuse later. Apparently, they were worried about the Zoophile Police's rep with Patch tearing into people they weren't necessarily concerned with. Uh, uh, oops! Really doing yourselves a favor there, aren't you, Scooter? But let's get into the people that sent this moron information. Let's start with Cyber After. Going forward, we'll be calling her Jazz, since that's how I know her. Remember the claims about me threatening to dox Bologna? Some of that came from Jazz. And that's not the only thing here. But I want to give some background. Jazz used to be part of the server I'm in called Top of the Barrel. She'd regularly want sympathy and pity about the hardships in her life instead of actively working to fix them. After a while, we all found out she was a snake, and she got the boot. But I'm going to address the accusations she makes of me in this. Jazz says I threatened to dox her at one point because she wouldn't tell me about her boyfriend. She's not telling you that while she was 17, her boyfriend was in his mid-twenties and that she has a history of hooking up with older, abusive men. More to the point, I told her the only reason I didn't call her mother is because her mother is crazy, much like her daughter. But Jazz isn't capable of representing reality accurately. Moving on to the others. She claims I posted on Kiwi Farms with no evidence. She claims that I run Barrel because her friend that owns it is having problems. That friend is Vita. And the only problem he's having is a chronic case of laziness. She goes on further to claim that I've doxed multiple children, again without evidence, and that I doxed a 13-year-old because she wouldn't get off the internet. No, you dummy! That's not what happened. The child in question was Raven Dustraws, a 13-year-old that had previously gotten mixed up with predators and couldn't stay away from older people. I had every intention of calling her parents to keep her safe you mental infant. But at the end of the day, I wasn't even the one that did that. Buttons did. More on them later. Jazz also claims that Patch told her she was lying about the abuse she'd suffered. Here's the actual screenshot wherein no such thing was actually said. She also claims that when she joined Patch's server, that I saw her and convinced Patch to remove her. That's not what happened. Jazz saw I was there and messaged Patch about me being a big ol' meanie, accusing me of telling her to assault her mom and other such nonsense. She did this in other servers too, by the way. All of this will be listed in the Google Doc below. What I did tell her was that since she doesn't want to call the cops, if her mother tries to physically hurt her, she should fight back. Self-defense isn't the same as assault. But you're a habitual liar, Jazz. Here's the fun part, though. Jazz also told Bologna that Patch drew bestiality porn when Jazz does so herself. Be glad I censored this. She also has a 13-year-old that's her best friend. Jazz is 18 now and has apparently allowed this child access to her NSFW room in her server before someone intervened and has no problem drawing porn commissions while in call with said 13-year-old and streaming. Good background check, Bologna! You simpleton! Jazz, you're a mental mess. Stop trying to attack me because you're mad I didn't give you the attention you wanted. I already have three and a half surrogate children, and at least they want to improve their surroundings. You get dumb enough to pull a stunt like this again, and I'll bury you. Now, Buttons was brought up earlier. Buttons also goes by Eden and many other names. They also messaged Bologna to talk trash about Patch. One specific instance accusing Patch of making their mental disorders public. Despite Buttons having done so months ago themselves in a server. This wasn't a roleplay server either, people. Buttons is insane. And Buttons, I know you're watching this. You. Me. Soon. Now we cut to last night. Coyote Lovely decided he'd confront Bologna about her nonsense. 
And what did he get in return? Bologna self-harming to try and get him to stop making her accountable for her own stupidity. Something she's apparently proud of, mind you, as seen here. I've blurred these, but the uncensored ones are in the Google Doc, so view at your own peril. The same night, some of the boys from Barrel decided to raid the Zoophile Police Discord server. Nothing vile, mind you, just simple trolling. And what did these brave people do, the ones entrusted to protect others? They panicked and shut everything down. Because they can't handle conflict. If you're going to be going after the worst of society, you need to be tough. And none of these people are. Especially not Bologna and Windigo. So let me make this clear. Bologna, no one cares for your anime-esque vow of vengeance against Jazz and Eden. You screwed that up by not vetting the info. You. Your posturing means nothing. It took you 72 hours to issue a retraction about your statement on Patch. And even then, you put the onus on others instead of yourself. You're not good enough for this. You're not reliable enough for this. And you're not smart enough for this. The only way you can make this right is by both you and Windigo resigning and turning the keys to someone over like Coyote to find suitable people. He stated directly to me that he's willing to do that. Of course, I told you this a few hours ago on a call we had, and you were too stupid to listen then either. Because you're a power-tripping control freak. I'm going to close out with this statement about me from Bologna. It's funny. Because I get more answers than you do, more reliably. And Monday? Raytheon's getting a call. You won't be hiding from consequences anymore. Special thanks to my patrons. I hope you enjoyed this. Please share this around until these clowns make the right decision. I'm Lyo Convoy. I'm asking you to take care. Hey everybody, this is post-editing Lyo Convoy here to let you guys know the three people who were running the account no longer are. They've been cleared out and the original account owner has taken over. They're going to go ahead and move forward with this and try to find better suited admins for it. I would like to thank Quintoki personally for being able to help in this endeavor. However, I still recommend sharing this video because Bellana is a piece of garbage and somebody needs to hold her accountable. Later.